Uh, we have Dee Brown today, the 1991 dunk champion, one of my heroes. And uh, Dee, I just I'm going to quick intro this because we have the headliner of the 1984 dunk contest here as well. Coop, you want to intro? You want to talk about that for me? <laughs> Why are you laughing, D? Because, <laughs> and, and I, D, listen, I personally tried to stay out of this one here because the 84 dunk contest, I laid the biggest fucking egg you could ever do. I, I <laughs> did four dunks. I didn't make the damn dunk. So uh -huh. I'm going to sit to the side and we're going to let the 91, 91, right? Yes, 91. Hold on, who was the dunk contest? Talk about who? this. But Who's again, in the dunk contest that year in 84? Say that again? Who's in the dunk contest with you in 84? Nobody, D. Nobody. Nobody. Not, okay, not I'm Jordan. Gonna, I'm going to give you my lineup. <laughs> this is the people that were with me. Right. Ralph Sampson. <laughs> oh, no. He locked up. Just He's in time. Four. He's 74. He count. jumped this high. Right, Coop, you're locked up. I'm going to call him <laughs> Ghost Cooper. Okay. <laughs> Orlando Woolbridge, the okay. great Orlando Woolbridge, okay. yeah. and Larry Nance. Okay, yeah, all right, yeah. You're listening to Showtime with Coop, <laughs> and it's going to be D's show. Take it away, D. <laughs> man, I, I appreciate the love, Coop, man. That's funny, man. Hold on, Orlando Woolbridge and Larry Nance now. Them, them two, they can jump. So, I, you know what? But, but D, he just did. Did he talk about Michael Jordan, Dr. J, or Dominique Wilkins? Yeah, Weren't with they them, there? yeah. We're not with them yet. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> we we're talking about them instilling the dunk contest back in 1984. Yeah. I was part of that group. It was at Denver. Maybe that's what it was. Yeah, that's what it was. Eyes, it I love consciousness up there trying to <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Uh, D, real quick question. Yeah. Is he locking that's up on you too, D? Yeah. That's exactly Coop, what he you're did locked in up, bro. We can't yeah. hear you, Coop. You're exactly locked what he up. did a dunk contest. Locked up. Yeah, that's a, he locked up. That's what he did in the dunk contest, Coop. <laughs> I'm keeping that in. Coop, ahead, we Coop. didn't hear you. Say it again. All right, go D, ahead. did you practice for your dunks? I did oh, practice yes. for my all my dunks that I did. Uh, the two ball dunk, the you know the 360 windmill dunks. I did. I, like the last one, I didn't. I, again. The no look dunk I never did before. I never practiced that dunk. I had no clue I was gonna do that dunk at all. So I was hoping that y'all you know, did made the dunk number one uh, after after having to make it up right on the spot. But I had a couple other dunks that I had in my pocket that I know that I could have could have done if I needed it. And you know, one of them still ain't been done yet. So you know, hopefully somebody tell Jalen, tell Jalen Brown, <laughs> see if you were out there, bro. <laughs> You were out there. I'm sure Jalen got his whole routine already down already. Has you know, Jalen hasn't contacted you for any advice or anything? No, no, not at all. No, that's it's all good. It's all good. I'm, I'm, I'm hopefully he, he does well and wins. You know, I, I heard he's got something special he's going to do. So I don't know exactly what it is. So hopefully, you know, you know, we'll we'll see that on Saturday night. But um, I heard Tatum well, is I, involved. I, mean, I practice. I mean, we had had you know we had eight contestants, so you had to have like eight dunks to win. And you know, back then, if you missed a dunk, you was you was basically eliminated. Like it wasn't, you know, you get 10 dunks to get a 50. You missed a dunk. So you had to make sure the dunks you did, you could make them the first time. Because the second time, you know, the judges back then were there. They were brutal. Like they were Magic, Isaiah, like those dudes, they Doc. didn't care. Yeah, those, <laughs> those dudes didn't care. Iceman, oh, Iceman. Yeah, miss. You miss. It. It's like, you know what? You might get you might get 40 points. So you had to make sure you dunk, you practice your dunks. Um, and I did the week before. Um, with the help of Larry Bird and Kevin McHale, which they were trying to tell me what kind of dunks to do. I was like, man, y'all can't dunk. <laughs> y'all trying to teach me. Come on, man. Like, like go over there to the corner, you shoot threes, bird, like you do. And Kevin, you work on your your, your, your work on your slippery ill, your post up moves, and let me worry about dunking. So, but they gave me some advice. It was good. It was funny. Now, after 40 years, now I know the secret. I didn't practice, so maybe that's why I missed all my <laughs> I had to practice because I was a late, I was a late entry. Um, I wanted to make sure that I had, you know, all, my, you know, all the dunks I could do. You know, yeah, I mean? you and 
He, he basically, Coop, you keep locking up, bro. I got an unstable thing. Man, unstable, <laughs> dunk, unstable internet. I'm, I'm all out there today, man. <laughs> but let me add to that. You went up against Sean Kemp, so like that yeah. was pretty. That was pretty amazing. Yeah. I mean, I know I just cut that up. That whole, uh, that whole dunk contest up for uh, put on Instagram. Yeah, and but, uh, yeah. Know, the crazy part is that that Sean. Sean never won a dunk contest, which is amazing to me. Um, yeah. You know, the two guys who I thought were probably the best dunkers in dunk contests but never won was him and Aaron Gordon. Like, those mm. two guys, think about it. Aaron Gordon never won a dunk contest, but he got the most 50s That's in dunk contest point. history. You know, so not that Zach Levine didn't deserve to win, but Aaron Gordon, you know, he did some stuff that nobody ever seen before. So I always, I always tell the story about Sean Kemp. So I remember we were sitting down waiting for – uh, the contest to start. We're all all the contestants were sitting in the in the same row. We didn't have our jerseys on. We kind of just had like some some sweatshirts on, getting ready for the contest. Uh, and kids start coming up asking for autographs. They're like, "Hey, you know, Sean, can you get your autograph?" So you know, back then, uh, you know, me and Sean had that same haircut. We had that, that Gumby <laughs> fat top, Gumby haircut. Uh, so we kind of you know had the same haircut uh, and looked kind of the same. So one kid asked Sean for his autograph and looked at me and said. Hey Sean, is that your little brother? And I was like, Dude, I, I'm in the NBA. What you talking about little brother? Dude, I'm in the. I said, Oh, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna whip your. I'm gonna whip your butt now. You know, I looked at Sean. He started laughing. I said, Okay, okay, all right. I'm little brother. Yeah, man, you better check. My, uh, so that got me hyped up for the contest. And then the other thing with Sean is funny. When I retired and from Orlando Magic, I went to the front office, and 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 Sean was still on the team. He was still playing, and. He moved into the same neighborhood I moved into. So he, uh, on his way to practice every day, he had a job past my house. So every once in a while, I would go outside with a trophy while he drove by. <laughs> <laughs> and go, first loser, first loser. And he'd be so mad. <laughs> He'll see me at practice like, yo, why you keep doing that? I say, hey, you know what? You didn't win. You always come to my house and look at the trophy. You know, you can come by and visit it. And, and, and you can take it home a couple times if you want to. Oh, uh, he's a, he's a hate that. You ask Sean Kemp about that. I used to do that all the time. Too. He used to get so bad at me. And I was, I mean, he'd be like 8 o'clock in the morning. I'd be outside with the trophy. I'd it up, my job, drove by. He'd be bad. <laughs> but Sean, I mean, great dunker. Trust me. You know, there's right. guys, you know, between, you know, like Coop, you say, there's in game dunkers that, like, the in game dunks he had. Like amazing, you know, like and mm -hmm. it translated to the to the dunk contest. There's so many great in-game dunkers in the NBA now. That's why some of them I, I don't think they want to be in a contest, you know, you know, don't want to mess up with the reputation or you know the prize money ain't big enough, whatever it is. Uh, you know, it's 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 different between being a game dunker in a in a dunk contest. Very right. It's, it's different. Yeah. Well, well that was Coop's yeah. issue. Coop, that was your uh, issue. Uh, <laughs> it's not gonna let watch, me go back to watch that. Out, Nick. Don't start <laughs> that won't be nothing. I'm going to take you down miserable lane, D. Not memory lane, but miserable <laughs> lane for me. 1984 mm -hmm. in Denver. I'm in there with all these great dunkers. But, D, I was an in-game dunker. And mm -hmm. when they asked me to do this, I went out and I tried my best to do the best I could. Miss all four. I mean, I was a two-hand over my head. I missed, <laughs> I missed that. It went up in the stands. It hit the back yeah. of the rim and went in the stands. <laughs> anyway, D, you, you had... The most iconic dunk when the punk shoes were out. You got in there, you pumped up your shoes. I thought that was, you have to have a little bit of flair in the dunk contest. Mm -hmm. I think you were probably one of the first ones to the first implement with that the as part of yeah. the dunk. Yeah. yeah. Tell us about that. Yeah. I mean, that was the main reason. I mean, I was always, I was already a Reebok athlete already. So I had a Reebok contract. So I wasn't doing it to try to get like a, a shoot, a shoot deal. Reebok was based in Boston. So it was easy. You know, it was a great place for me to be. They showed love to me when I first got to Boston. So it was an easy decision for me to sign Reebok. And the only person at that time who was a re 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 big Reebok guy was Dominique Wilkins. So he was the other guy that was, that was a Reebok guy. So I did that. They had no clue I was going to do that. that I was going to pump up my shoe. Reebok had no clue. And I was doing it not because of, of, monetary reasons i like you said I, I was trying to get the crowd behind me uh and i was trying to you know bring some 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 energy and some pizzazz to, to the contest because it was in charlotte and in sh and sh and the hornets at the time they had two players in the dunk contest they had Ken Luke gill and rex chapman so basically they had two guys that like like home you know home arena advantage 
So I had to do something. I'm like, yo, listen, I got to do something to get this, get this fan, the fans on my side. And just to pump up thing, you know, to jump in, you know, help you jump higher than you know, letting air out after you dunk. You know, just a marketing ploy. Like I said, the, the no-look dunk, I never did it before. It was something I made up because in, 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 in the earlier dunk contest, we couldn't use props. You know, we can, you know, yeah, yeah, the no-look. And we couldn't use props. So we couldn't jump over people or chairs and things like that because you know insurance back then wasn't as good as it is now so they were like no no <laughs> you, you, got to, you got to dunk with you what you got like you better bring some <laughs> some pizzazz uh, without all the props so uh you know so you had to be very very creative in your mind of doing things without using other things so the only thing i had was my shoes that was my prop uh and i utilized it to the best and to this day i'm still a reebok athlete we talk about it all the time i see people all the time Ask me, you know, about, you know, you know, about pumping it up. I remember where I was, you know, I went and bought those shoes. I think it may be one of the first years that Reebok outsold Nike uh, and Jordans and shoes that year because everybody wanted to buy pumps that year. So, you know, it, it was great. You know, again, that I'm still a Reebok athlete. But Lexi is, Lexi is, is, right, WBA, yeah. is a Reebok athlete as well. So, you know, it's been, it's been Reebok's been good, good to our family uh, all because I get that. Uh, 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 doing a dunk contest and, you know, obviously played with those shoes throughout my whole career. You're listening to Showtime with Coop. Uh, we've got D. Brown, the 91 dunk contest winner in the slam dunk contest. They got this thing coming up again. It's going to be exciting. Uh, D, give me your top five dunkers all time. Ooh, all time. Okay. Uh, Michael Jordan. Uh, Vince Carter, Julia Servin, Dominique Wilkins, uh, and yourself. No, I'm not gonna put. I'm gonna put myself in that group. I'm gonna put myself in that group. That's a David very Thompson. Group. You know what? I'm, I'm gonna put. I'm gonna put like a, a tie between. It's just because I know how hard it is to dunk. Um, and again, this is. Maybe not so much game dunkers. Um, it's more uh, of just a, a, a because I think it was impressive. It's Spud Webb. I mean, oh, he was five yeah. eight. Like we, yeah. we we just missed that. Like yeah, if that, it was yeah, five eight, I kind of had too. I had Spud up there, but you know who people have a tendency to leave out, who? and uh, uh, you know Orlando Woolridge was a good one. But do you remember oh, Edgar Jones? I do Ray remember Edgar Jones. Ooh, Edgar good. Van has some crazy. Aggressive dunks, yeah. but that's a great lineup. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's so many, it's so many great dunkers. I mean, you see, like I said, there's game, there's game dunkers. I mean, I've seen people like dunk on people like in games, you know, like a like a Star Sean Kim or Mari Stoudemire, Robert Pat, Jalen Brown. You know, what I'm saying Jalen Brown is that yeah, way. I yeah, mean, yeah. I, I, mean, he's a, I mean, he's a game dunker, you know, and it's just so many guys. I mean, you remember Derek Smith? Late Derek Smith that played, of course. you know, yeah, he was passed another, away. Mm -hmm. you know, uh, got a chance before to play before he passed away. I mean, he was like another Ron Harper, Ron like, Harper. So many Rick Chapman. Ones. yeah. I mean, but those, I mean, there's guys that just iconic, like you know, you just think of you know, those the four I named the top four kind of you can't debate those four, mm -hmm. yeah. You know, you can't debate MJ, Dominique, Vince, you know, and Julius. Uh, and Doc, Doc, MJ, and and all four of them were good in dunker, in game dunkers, and dunk contest. Yeah, dunk. yeah, yeah. I, dunk, remember, I, I remember Doc J had a really good in game dunk in somebody. Uh, oh yeah, I was, I was, I was just going there. I was, yeah, I was just going there. <laughs> the most iconic dunk wow. of all time. <laughs> all right, D Brown, that wasn't there. funny, man. Stop playing with me, man. <laughs> All right, uh, listen. Uh, <laughs> hold, on, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You got hey, Tim. Uh, 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 you uh, got me. No, we ain't gonna skip this one. You got Tim was on your. What you was thinking about? When you thought you gonna get that block, you got Tim. Well, I was gonna ask listen, you this. Listen, this is what I was thinking about. <laughs> As that play unfolded, I was thinking, yes, Doctor J is one of the greatest dunkers to ever dunk in this game. But if I could have gotten turned, oh yeah. If I could have got up there and got turned with my right hand, it would have been the greatest block of all time. That's what was going through my head. But as Dude, I your went shoulder. Up, up, he got up on top of me, and I it was like that. So I just said, you know, let me get out of the way. So uh, your yeah, shoulder okay. hit the backboard. I know. I mean, like I your mean, head you, almost hit the rim. Up there. 
<laughs> I mean, you got jokes today, D Brown. Anyway, we're gonna move. No, on wait, 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 no, one more, <laughs> D. That's the only Lakers poster I ever had in my uh, oh, in my man. room growing up. Was Michael Cooper getting dunked on oh, by Dr. J? Goodness. Hey, hey, oh. we're moving on. Listen, D. <laughs> hey, sometimes we get the bear. Sometimes the bear gets you. I get it. That's it. That's it. When you're going through the dunk contest, uh -huh. as you go through your routine, as you said, mm -hmm. do you consider the judges, you know, kind of like you look over there and you see uh, Dr. J, mm -hmm. uh, Magic, or people mm -hmm. like that, do you consider them on, like for me, if I were a judge, I need power behind my dunks. Yeah. Right, right, if, right. If you got a little flamboyancy about it, but mm -hmm. if you got some power to shake that rim, that mm -hmm. there will get you a 10. Do you ever consider that when you were going through your dunks? Oh, yeah. And, obviously, I've, and also, I've been the judge in the dunk contest, too, in mm -hmm. NBA Dunk. I've been the judge three times. So when you're What excites you about a dunker? Uh, I mean, originality, always originality, but just the 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 – the 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 confidence and aggressiveness of it, you know, it's got to be one of them dunks where, like, you just hanging on a rim. Yeah, like when you do it, it, you don't barely make it. Yeah, you know, it don't take you five or six chances to do it. You know what you're going to do. You go up there with authority and you slam it. And, you know, when the ball hits the floor before you come down, like it go through the net and it hit the floor, and you still hanging on a rim. You know, a little pizzazz afterwards. You know, whatever whatever it is, these guys, you know, everybody does now. But I remember when I was in dunk contest. You know, I wanted to make sure that my dunks were clean, like, like, mm -hmm. you know, like, like hard, clean, um, you know, you know, you know, again, back then, you know, people were still inventing dunks and doing different dunks uh, in the late 80s, early 90s. So my main thing, I just want to impress people with like, number one, I was the, sh the shortest guy in the contest that year, I was 6'1". Um, so it helped me Skinny to elevate. Yeah. And me to elevate. I just want to elevate. Um, yeah. I was a two foot jumper. I was a big two foot jumper. Yeah. I could dunk off one foot, but I, you know, I had a 48, 48 inch vertical. So I wanted to make sure when I jumped, you know, I was as high as I can get. And Everybody then saw something. that. So, yeah. 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 To just to make this, oh, like, you know, the, the impression I was floating. Um, so, and as, and, as, and, as a, and as a judge, same thing, you know, you want guys to be just head by the rim, you know, hanging on the rim. Like it's, you know, you want to see that stuff, but the originality and the power, you know, is the things that you want to see where the you know the ball just just you just you, you really slam the ball uh, through the rim uh, with authority. Let, let me ask you this, B. Do you think, <clears throat> and I'm, I'm gonna have something to say about this too. But do you think people that had that have never dunked should be dunk judge, judges? I do not. I'm very adamant about that. So I, you've never been able to dunk. And I'm, I think they've had Lisa Leslie one time, and nothing wrong with Lisa. I mean, I love her. No, no, no. I, listen, I love the celebrity. I love the celebrity side of it. I get it. It's you know, you got to you got you to have representation all over. Uh -huh. you know, actors, you know, uh, you know. I don't think people that have, that never dunk should be dunk judges. No, I don't think so either. Yeah. I, I've, I've I've always said that. I mean, yeah. you know, I'm not I'm not a a doctor, but I I've been to the hospital plenty of times, and I don't want nobody <laughs> operating on me. Talking about, yeah, I you think don't want me operating on your day. Yeah, you know, I, 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 think that's how you take a spleen, I think that's how you take a spleen out. I, I, I've had one taken out before. So I so I want, you know, people who has who've been up there that knows how hard he's done. Because sometimes people do hard dunks and it's like they don't look impressed. Well, you don't know how hard that dunk is. Exactly. Because you never exactly. try to do it or mm -hmm. I've done it. Or dunking in front of 25,000 people and it's just you on the stage. So you want some some people with some um, uh, expertise, you know, uh, in, in a dunk contest, you know, uh, and that should be that I means everything. Like you know, three point shooting is different. Either you make it or miss it. That's you can you know that's that's pretty pretty simple. Um, but dunk contest, I, I I always thought you should have people who who were dunkers to be the judges for the dunk contest. I, listen, I love the celebrity opponent. Uh, uh, you know, piece to it. You got to have that. And maybe that's a, a different scoring. Maybe that's, you know, uh, but yeah, I, 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 you know, I remember one year we was a judge contest. Uh, I think we were in Atlanta and it was me, Julius, Michael Jordan, Dominique and Spudwell. That was, that was the judges. That's a like, Hall of Fame panel. Yeah, right I mean, you look down yeah. the list and I'm looking there like, okay, all right, yeah. you know, and you know, that, you know, that's that's what the judge, you know, former NBA slam dunk champions and people that dunk. That's what we did. Yep. Um, yep. And it just kind of bring more credibility uh, to the scoring, too.
So D, yeah. I couldn't be up on that panel. You wouldn't put no. me on that panel. <laughs> no, you be that. You be that celebrity judge. Yeah. <laughs> you listening to Showtime with Coop? We got D Brown back in the house. He's disrespecting Michael Cooper because he missed all his dunks and Dr. J dunked on me. D, a couple more questions. Again, want to thank you for spending a couple of minutes with us, man. Um, if you could assemble. Mm-hmm a group of people that you would want to dunk with, who would they be? And I think you pretty much already named a couple of them. Yeah. I mean, I, I named those guys. I would, I would, uh, if I, if I, if I take, take those, you know, the, the, to me, the, the, the Mount Rushmore of dunkers, you know, those, those, those four or five guys I named it is, I'm taking, I'm taking some of the new school guys. You know, one of the guys would be John Morant. Mm-hmm. Oh, um, oh my God. That John Morant would be a guy like, Ooh, yeah. okay. Uh, Zion, because of the power, the, the power. power. Uh, you know, um, you know. Uh, I'm trying to think of some other, some other guys. Uh, you know, those two guys come to mind real quick, just because of John Morant's style. You know, he's skinny like me, and you know, he got no, he got a quick bounce. Uh, you know, a guy I would love to see in his prime would have been like Russell Westbrook. Like, yeah, you know, yeah. Um, yeah. If he would have been the guy who got in dunk contest. I, I never, I never, I never, I never thought about LeBron being in a dunk contest just because I, I just think he's better a game dunker. Yeah, I mean, he could win a dunk contest because he probably he could show so many different things because his his his, uh, uh, his imagination and his IQ. He probably did some crazy stuff he thought thought he couldn't do. But you know, Paul he, George, Paul George got Paul a little. George, yeah, he got sneaky hops yeah. too. Yeah, I'm Paul too George mean. got a, yeah, sneaky hops. He did like reverse three sixties in games and stuff like yeah. that. So, um, you know. I mean, just think about it, cool. Like, guys are doing between the leg dunks during games now. I know, yeah, incredible. Like, you, you, you imagine trying to do something like that in in, in the eighties, nineties. The next possession, you had your head on the floor. I'm gonna follow you. I should have followed Doctor J. I don't know what I was thinking, man. <laughs> you know, next possession, you go up on layup, man. Your teeth are on the floor. Like, why didn't like, why like, didn't you file Doctor you know, J? You, just, you, just, you, I would never ever think about trying to do something like that in the game. You know. You know, like I, I did stumbled D- in the game. I felt bad, like, oh man, I did three sixty. Boy, always trying to show nobody up. You know, you know, you look at <laughs> Rick Horn, next possession, trying to, you know, knock me out. <laughs> when, you know, you know. Yeah. So it's 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 it, it. I mean, listen, those young guys now, there's people are so athletic now. You know, like yeah. I said, you know, Jalen's in the contest. You got, you know, uh, uh, Jaime is in the contest who won uh, a dunk contest in high school. So. Yeah, you know, I think it's gonna be. I think it's gonna be a fun competition. Again, it ain't the huge names that people want, um, but Jalen being there brings a little bit of credibility to it. Um, you know, uh, uh, Mac McClung, who uh, won last year, this won last, last year. year. Yeah, so I think it's gonna be fun. You know, people just you know, they get bored. You know, yeah, that was gonna be my question. Like we've seen all these dunks. You can go on social media and see all these professional dunkers doing these crazy dunks. My idea for dunk contest, Coop, is this. All right. Have a professional dunker match up with an NBA dunker with a, a, a G League dunker, and have like three teams of three, and then have like a competition. So you got a professional dunker, NBA dunker, G League dunker on one team, and have three different teams. Now, now they're kind of you know yeah, raise up the a good idea. Bit, raise that's up the ante a little bit, um, um, sort of like they used to have with the, with the with the with the shooting contest. They had a WNBA player, uh, uh, a retired player, an NBA yeah. player. Yeah. You want to do something? Bring these, bring these uh, pro dunkers in there. You know, mm-hmm. bring the pro dunkers in there. Let them get, let them get some love uh, uh, in, in the contest. Because if we're not gonna have the elite guys in it, these bring the entertainment value. That's what the fans want to see. You, you know, know what, Dean? And this is one thing I was thinking about. And, and sorry for cutting you off, B. Uh, I like that idea. Mm-hmm. But another good one would be have a, a, a six five, six six down. Let them dunk at 10 foot. And if you want the big guys, uh, Victor Wamiyama, yeah. those guys like mm-hmm. that, then raise the basket to 11 feet. Oh, they'll never and then let those guys dunk. And they would understand what it would be like for the smaller guys to dunk. Yeah, yeah. You know? <laughs> like when Ralph Sampson didn't jump. I mean, Ralph Sampson didn't <laughs> have to jump. He didn't but, even jump, man. But, but Nick, at least he made his dunk. I, I yeah, yeah, I know. I know. Yeah, he missed I, one, though. I think he hold missed on, one. Hold on. I remember I did a show. Uh, when I was working for ESPN called City Slam. And we had a competition where we had like a vertical jump competition. We had to jump like almost like we had a bar. And you had to jump over the bar and dunk. Like we had, 
we did so many crazy things on this show. Like it was, it, 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 it was crazy. Like to me, that would be great. If you can jump over the bar and dunk, you kept moving the bar up, you know, yeah, like a high jump bar. It yeah. was crazy. Now again, the NBA with injuries, the like injuries. And we're doing this outside. On you the know what I would like to do? What? Have you seen that slam ball where they yeah. jump off the trampoline? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 uh, Reggie Theus and I did that because he did it up at Universal Studio. We uh, were com commentating. Yeah. And they asked me, Coop, did you want to do it? D, I jumped off that thing, man. I almost <laughs> broke my neck. I jumped right into the backboard. <laughs> yeah, that's different. That's different. I, 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 I have fun looking at it when they be doing, doing the timeouts and stuff yeah. the trampoline and doing it between the legs three times. I'm like, yo, that, that's way too dangerous for me. Like, mm -mm, I can't do that. Well, D Brown, I just want to no, thank you for some. Don't cut them yet. I got a couple <laughs> questions, man. You got to hit me. When you have D on, I got to ask a couple questions. First one is, D, you missed a couple, which I forgot until this morning. Yeah. How do you, and I'm thinking about Jalen here, because mm -hmm. the dude's got small. Will you please put your hands out like this? Oh, D. yeah, big hands. Oh, yeah. I mean, Jalen's about my size. Yeah. <laughs> right? I got big so, hands. You got some you, big ass hands, yeah, man. He has huge. Oh, yeah, he has wow. Look how long your fingers are, man. <laughs> I texted him that yesterday. I'm like, no way, yeah. Jalen wins. You don't have big hands. Yeah. Right? So, and Rondo had big hands. Doc yeah. had big hands. Yeah, so somebody yeah. like Jalen, like with smaller hands, mm -hmm. in-game dunker, and he's also a two-foot dunker. Yeah. What's your advice if you miss it? Like you were so focused. When you yeah. missed, you went right back at it. Yeah, you go back at the. I mean, to me, I was always like the, the player. If they did miss a dunk, and it was because I got really legit, like wow, you were like, ooh, if he made that, go after it again. Like yeah. you know, like if you practice a dunk, you know, then I would try to do it again. Like the guys who kind of miss a dunk and all of a sudden go to a different dunk, they really ain't confident. But you talked about it earlier. You gotta be confident in your dunks. Like you gotta know yep. what you can do. But you gotta also be you better adjust on the fly. Because a guy comes out with a dunk that gets a forty nine fifty. That one dunk you were saving, you might have to pull out a little earlier, you know, pull out a little earlier. So there's there's a little competition part to it and some, you know, uh, you know, bait and switch Sport. going on during the contest. Strategy. But you better have, like you said, you better have four or five good dunks in your pocket that you know you can make on the first try that are impressive. Um, but, you know, you hate the guy because I see some guys that get in a dunk contest uh, but never get to their good dunks. Like they never, get to their, they never get to their good dunks because they're like saving them. You know, a prime was, example is like James White. Remember James White? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Like James White was probably the most athletic person I've ever seen in my life. Like, we, you know, I, I would have put him on that list too. Like, he was taking off for the free throw line, doing windmills, and he was a dunk contest, but never got to his best dunks because yeah. he either missed or just didn't have a high enough score. You know, based on the judges. So sometimes you gotta make sure you get to the next round, but don't shoot all your your, your ammunition early. Uh, and have something weak and then finals end up losing. So, you know, got got to have those dunks. You know, having small hands, you know, you, you see, that's when people do a lot of cuff dunks. Yes, cuff yeah. dunks. Or, or stick them. Or, or stick them. Or dunks <laughs> off the bounce. When you have small uh, hands, you dunks off the bounce. D, you know what? As a judge. Dunks off the I'm bounce. Judging that's somebody good. and they miss a dunk. Mm -hmm. And they come back and they do the same, try the same dunk, they miss it again. I'm deducting points. Yeah. So when yeah, he eventually make it after that third or fourth time, yeah. instead of it being a 10, a ten I'm giving you a seven. Yeah, seven or eight. Yeah, I agree with that. Like you should be rewarded. But again, those are the rules now that yeah. you don't get penalized for missing dunks. You you know, you get an opportunity to do it for the time clock or whatever it is they got now. You don't get penalized. Like you say, in the earlier contest, you got penalized for that. You yeah, there's yeah. no way you're getting a a fifty. If you missed your 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 first attempt, it was just, it's almost, yeah. I think you got a forty four. Right, yeah, on that yeah, one. And that was about, like, yeah, you know, yeah. You know, so it's, you got to be very careful uh, when you miss dunks. Do what about we left off that dunking list? We left Kenyon Martin. Remember yeah. him, Kenyon Martin, man, up in the yeah. air. Yeah, I mean, it was just I mean, so many guys that right. just attacked around. You know. So did, did you know that you had already won the dunk contest when, by the time that you had done the last dunk? Like you were up by a tenth of a point or something. Yeah, I, I just found and remembered this this morning. I, 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 somebody told me, but I didn't register because I was so in the moment in the zone. Um, were you so I think I knew I won, but I didn't. I didn't. I knew I won, but I still knew I had to do a signature dunk. Like I knew I had something to do something in my last dunk that was different. So I don't think that changed my mindset of like, oh, if I miss it, I'm still going to be a winner. You don't want to go out like that. You no, know, no, no. You right, know, you right, want to right, make right. sure you you leave on 
boom, with a, with a bang, which I did. You know, like I said, I had made that dunk up just on the spot. Um, you know, the dunk, the dunk I was going to do, and I'll, and I'll throw it out there, the dunk I was going to do that I had left in my pocket was I was going to throw it up, it was going to bounce, I was going to catch it, hit the backboard, do 360. Yeah, man. Did, did, so how many I had times that you practice still in my that? Pocket. Hey, D, D, you know what my signature dunk was? <laughs> my alley poop. dunk was going to be go up and <laughs> rock the baby reverse. And I missed that too. How you miss that? <laughs> I was gonna you say, terrible, man. They didn't have a defensive contest for you. Just, 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 just or should have just been should have just been all alley oops. Yeah, all, all, all coupe loops. Oh, yeah. All coupe loops. Magic throwing up there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> See, you've been good, but they had the, the partner part. You know, when you get your partner, your teammate to help you out. They didn't have that back then. You know, now they got the. You know, you bring your you bring your teammate and help you with the dunk. G. You just came a little too early, Coop. That's all. That's it. <laughs> well, ahead of your time. D Brown, thank you. And I ain't thank trying you, to D. talk this old Boston shit y'all trying to bring up. Like, oh, the man. Y'all got going on. You want, hey, you want to see the trophy? I can show you the trophy, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Show us the trophy. Oh, show no, us I'm going to show you the trophy. Coop, get it, get it, get it. Oh, <laughs> this is low, D. You're hitting below oh, the belt, man. baby. He's unlocking it. Oh, there it is. That's there it is. Deep. Hit below the belt. <laughs> I touch it? All I want to do is touch it. You, you and Sean Kill. Here you go. Here you go, Sean. Here you go. <laughs> oh, man, that is great. Thank you, D, man. Hey, this thank is great. Thank you so much for being on, my brother. I appreciate you. I love for you, man. Oh, man. Talk Young soon. Of 91. D Brown hey. was all in right, the guys. house. Thank you, D. Appreciate Later, you, guys. D. Okay. Talk soon. Thank you always. All right, cool. Appreciate you, brother. Okay. Love Take you. care. All right. Later. All right, Nick. Thanks. See you. Hey, it's see you. Nick from Showtime with Coop, and I've got something exciting to share with you all this week. If you're anything like me, you're always on the lookout for fun and simple ways to play da daily fantasy sports. Let me tell you, you have to check out my new go-to place. That's Prize Fix. Seriously, this is the most fun I've had winning a playing fantasy sports and winning up to 25 times my money this football season. And here's how it works. You can select two or more players, like for instance, say Saquon Barkley uh, for more than 60 yards. Then just pick more or less on their projected stats and submit your entry. It's that easy. And the best part, it's just you against the numbers. No pros, no sharks, no, no, no tricks, right? It's just you against the established numbers. Recently, I tried out their weekly promotion, and you know what? Taco Tuesday is where it's at. Every Tuesday, Price Picks discounts select player projections up to 25% to give even more value. So not only is it easy and thrilling, but there's potential for some really serious returns on your entrance. And if you've played with other platforms in the past, let me tell you what. Once I switched to Price Picks, I genuinely thought, why the heck did I wait so long? Now here's the cherry on top of the cake for you all. Go to pricepicks.com slash CLNS and use the code CLNS for a first time deposit match up to $100. Yep, you heard that right, folks. Again, that's pricepicks.com slash CLNS. Use the code CLNS. And always remember, daily fantasy sports is made easy with Price 